Would you say Drake's bigger than Michael Jackson? No, no, no. He's about to explain why. No, 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 no. Not even close. Michael Jackson's Dangerous Tour was the biggest tour any performer had done in history. Staging took nearly three days to set up. The tour included 69 concerts, reaching over 3.5 million fans. But you know the reason when they say it took three days to set up because things were like moving slow. Technology. <laughs> no, 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 no,
During the Like so later on at night Now we're travelling From this private island A beach I can't remember What it's called Nikki would remember Travelling from this Private beach We're travelling up to um, We're travelling up to um, Back To Port Antonio The main bit To a place called Canopy House Right And bro When I tell you yeah Sheets of black bro And then Already I'm scared yeah Because it's sheets of black I can't swim There's like There's me This woman Carlene On the boat Ashley Chin and some next actress from the inter- this was Intent Two time the next actress like from the Intent Two and we're all on this boat yeah Ashley Chin obviously he's trying to like hold it down bro the water splashed on my head yeah so like I thought the oh. boat was gonna capsize so the boat hit a wave a wave and the water went on my head I held on to this woman I, I swear even to this day I've never held on to a woman like that she's like. In her 50s, late I mean, 40s. Trying like, to give her a formal apology. No, no, I, I apologized <laughs> to her afterwards. Like, literally, I held on to us. And this was literally five, 10 minutes. But the fact is, in that moment, I realized, yeah, and I'll never forget this because I didn't know this. I realized that the sea, when it's clear, is a reflection of the sky. Because the sky was in, Af- like, in Africa, Caribbean, like, Equator, wherever. Nighttime, the sky is black, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no, there's not, nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's clear. It's pitch black. And the sea was the reflection of that. And bro, I'll be honest, I was, I've never been so scared in my life. I don't even know how we got into that. No, because so I was talking, I was talking <laughs> about you know, me. But you know what's mad? People Caribbean. were saying that like, people get on boats and they can't swim. People get on planes, they can't fly. <laughs> no matter. It don't matter. Because with a plane, that's, that's a, it that's is a bad what big it is. moment. Now, where's, where's the soundboard, oh, man? Sorry, sorry, bro, sorry, that's, the bad, top. that's the top. <laughs> that's the top. That's the gunshot, you know. That's a gunshot. You know? so, yeah, like, that's no. a gunshot. No, no, that's a crazy fact. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's a point. crazy fact. Aye. Bro, if I fall into water in the sea, I might be able to swim. You've heard of people that were I in water to you, for days. You ain't swimming, bro. Bro, there's people that have been mm-hmm. out. And I'll give you a tip. I think you I know, told you, you know, it's not the same as but, that, bro, that I'll give you. I'll give you an example. I was out with Mike and when I was with Byron and all of them and we went to Mykonos. Yeah, yeah. I remember this, bro. We swam a mile out. And we swam back in. So, I'm, you know what I mean? If you are a good swimmer, you can be out there. Yeah, to be fair, Matthew did that in Bali. Like, we went to go... Um, we, but I didn't go nowhere. But I ain't lied to you. But he's about to say they're getting to a waterfall. I say, yeah, safe. You know, I see you at lunch, yeah? They, they had to wake up at like 7, 8 to go there. I, that's one thing I don't... I'm not there yet. I'm not in these places where... We're going to go sightsee, but the journey's three hours. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll never be there. <laughs> no, no, maybe one day I'll when I'm older. Be there. But right now, no. I'm not there. Like, wake up 6 a.m. to get to the place at 9. For excursion. You know what? Because You know what, yeah? <laughs> now, my kids are getting to that age, yeah? You I've got boys, innit? So, like, I went to Morocco, like, with them in February. And, like, they're getting to that age where it's not like they're just going to sit by the swimming pool anymore. <laughs> so, like, my, my older son's 12, my younger son's 10. It's like being with the man them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, so it's like being with the man them and their mom has to rock with it because the man them are, like, active Do you know, what, do you know what? That's funny. Like, when I, from the flip side, when I look at it with my daughter, yeah, because I have her, to, like, with me solo, it doesn't really matter what her mom thinks. If I want to do this with her, I'm Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. You see, my kids, yeah, they're like, this was, this last trip, I realised, raw. so this is going to be me for the rest of the time. We were doing, like, we did everything. Like, when I mean we did everything that you could do, yeah? Oh, do you know we what? did the quad. We did the... And I'm not that dad, you know? I'm the dad like, oh, leave me alone. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> but I on that trip, I had to be... So we did the... What's the balloon? We did the little oh, balloon. Yeah, balloon. Yeah, we had to wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah, did the see, balloon yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. We did the, like, went to the market. We did the tour. We did this. And, like, to the point where, like, my boys, like, they were shocked. What did that feel like, though? No, because you know what? I had to be... Like, I realised... When we got there, was when they're like, well, Dad, what are we doing? I was like, what do you mean? Oh, you like, think on the spot. like, we were like, this was. And you said, I'll pay for the holiday. Well. This, was a lo- <laughs> fam, this was a luxurious five star yeah, experience. Yeah. They they said, even, nah, we enough. went desert, yeah? We went desert. It was glamping. It was the, like, literally, I've seen everyone else's desert thing. It's, it's not a, see, a, like, young TP. It, yeah, it's not see my desert <laughs> thing. I took them on a mad. De- it was a bedroom. It was basically a bedroom. Yeah. Like, we were in a room. Like, said, What's the mo- what more do you yeah, want? I was from like, me? What motives? <laughs> but they were on, like, I had to do camel. I had to, like, literally, oh, my the, boys. Like, camel things mad. Yeah, camel things mad. 
Camel thing. You think you just get on it like a horse? When the, no. camel, when the camel stands up, the back leg Brother. comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> camel thing. The man. Camel thing. Camel. Don't even thing. look. Hey. Camel what thing is this? It was like, hot, you know. No. Camels don't even look comfortable. That's my thing. Like, when I look at cam- camels, it doesn't look like one of those comfortable rides. I, I, I felt bad on a... Um, I wait for Mark to come back. No, no, I'm oh, I felt bad in um, when I went to Morocco and I sat on a camel, you know. Because, bro... When my daughter went on it, it was like calm. When I sat on it, yeah, 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 yeah. I was saying, feeling yeah, the pain. Oh, You're hench though now. Yeah, I know. You're hench now. It's not like before. You're big. Like, yeah, like, it's changed. You're, I felt bad, man. The gym's gymming, bro. Like every time I see this guy, he's getting more and more bolo. Like, the reason why, so, um, before we continue with the conversation in regards to the boats on war, yeah, what I was going to say that was sick in regards to that connection you made with your child, um, your kids, sorry. I had that with my daughter the other day. Imagine um, we're in my yard now, we're watching um, Beta Squad, Shout yeah. out Chunk, Sharky, um, AJ, and that. And, brother, She's laughing at all the jokes yeah, I'm laughing yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. So there's one where Chucky's like, "Rah!" Sorry, not Chucky. Chunks is like, "Rah!" Is that my man with the woods on the mains? But basically, they've in, they've invited a, um, a sumo wrestler to fight them. That's funny to see exactly. So I messaged Chunks. I said, "Brother, that is fucking hilarious." But me is laughing. Nah, I'm like, nah, it's I'm different. Like, Wait, what? It's different. But now I'm looking at it like, "What? Are you ready to watch Dave Chappelle with yeah. me?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Like, like my like my my son busts me on all that. Yeah, I didn't even one. know about like. My son, my son bust me on like all side man and all of that. Like, he, yeah, my son. Brother, them man are, but they're funny. No, bro. no, them man are not only funny. Like, them man dominate media. That's like media bro, now, bro. That's bro. media now, bro. Like, I was literally my son. When I realized it was different was when I I went to some basketball thing. I introduced my son to Harry Panero. My son was gassed, and this like my son was never gassed by no. My son's met everyone. Like. Literally every He's been Not even just met them He's been at functions He's been at weddings yeah, With like yeah. Mad Hollywood actors Like you know like He's been at mad functions Especially When he saw my, Harry He saw Harry Panera It was different But do you know what They did that was different They started talking about Some Fake football match Like What are sports? No Some like Side men versus Oh whoever. yeah the charity, not this charity year match. one yeah, Last year Last year yeah, one. So match. him and Harry uh, Get into this conversation For about 10 minutes but it's a proper deep, like football analysis yeah. conversation, and I'm standing there. I'm like, "Ro, I'm old," because I don't know what they're That's talking about. These niggas never had pep on the side, like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm like, they were proper nah, chatting. Now, nah, brother, what they're doing is sick, bro. KSI just broke another PP. Yeah, I saw Vima, us, brother. Yeah. One point three million. Isn't but, it? but, yeah, but, but no, do you know, do you know, when I, do you know when I realized that KSI and these men are, are sick here? Yeah, I was in my yard, and the last two was yeah. like a banter thing. Like, man's just like. I'll wait for the clips on on uh, yeah. uh, Twitter or something, yeah. But we were in the group talking about, yo, you man, this fight's coming up. And that's when I realized, right, everyone's actually in their yard watching it. It's a Saturday night, bro. My brother. We're my all brother. in our yards watching yeah, it, bro. Me and him went. So oh, we, see, there you go. No, 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 no wait, wait, wait. We went for research. No, no, we went for... So <laughs> me and him, yeah, I was like, you know what? This boxing thing's gone out of this world, yeah? Slim, someone sent me tickets. We're going. And he was like, no, no, I'm busy. I was like, bro, we're going. We need to see. We need to, with our own eyes, yeah. We need to see it. We need to see it. See what's going on. That week, we had a basketball game, yeah. London Lions were playing at Wembley, right? And so, like, it was like, we, like, kind of, it wasn't, like, fully sold out. You know when they put the sheet on yeah, top? Yeah, da, 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 da. So, it had about maybe 5,000 people there, I want to say. It was a mad game. But, like, the other team won. The other team had some crazy fans. They were from Israel. They were, like... Proper it, it, basketball is big in Israel. Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? So anyway, that's all going on. Sun, Saturday comes now. Said Slim, we're going to this thing. Me and Slim went. Yeah, we were so overwhelmed. But it was packed. Didn't it? We were it so packed. overwhelmed. We left. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. we just took it in. Yeah? yeah, and it was just so overwhelming. The experience of it. The experience of it was so like the fanatic, like fanaticism. Yeah, and I remember I don't know half of these t- YouTubers. Yeah. Do, I don't. Do you know what's sick about them, man? They created a lane because normally with boxing, it's the powers that be that create the boxing. Yeah, this is not. These are not actual boxes. It's ground bro. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These crazy. are like inf- like these are YouTubers that and, happen to box. And do you know why it's mad it's as mad. well? They've got a bigger audience. Yeah. You don't have to be a boxing No, it's numbers. Fanatic. Numbers don't lie, bro. And, that, and that's the bro, thing. The normally, numbers with, is crazy. With boxing, it's you, normally, as you said, you've got to be a, a fan, fan of boxing. Yeah. If you're watching an AJ fight, maybe girls might watch AJ because they like him, cool. But generally speaking, most times a boxing match is watched because you're a boxing fan. That one is like, no, if you're a YouTube fan, you just want to watch or bro. If media. Because remember, you're, there's, there's, there's something that's going to be, it's either someone's going to box really well, someone's going to box really bad, someone's going to get knocked out. There's something for you to talk about. And these are people that you watch every day. My yeah, brother. but you know what? It's, it's like the new WWF, isn't it? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, up. also YouTube is the biggest platform in the world. It is watched daily it's by 2.1 billion, billion people. I swear. Even knows that one. 2.1 billion people go on YouTube every day. And do you know what's mad? You got to think about it like this, yeah? <laughs> They crazy. do they do this thing that's very sick. With, Seven billion people in the with, world. Um, yes, bro. <laughs> they do this thing that's very sick. Um, the side men, the beta squad, and I'm not saying that we don't, but the new gen, they they're able to introduce different themes. So as much as they have their own fan base, they can go into boxing. Whether you like boxing or not, you like them, so you invest in it. Whether you like them or you like boxing, you'll invest in it. But then they'll just wake up the next day, next week, they're in football. My and, bro, like, and then they get, I, I, then they get like that the audience. Fact that they put on their friends. Like it's all like It's just man them It's just, it's man, just man them, them. And, and they're just doing banter And they're doing banter And they've turned it into a business And it's making millions And like Everybody just wants to watch them Yeah you know, they're f- And they're funny as well And they're funny And also well, it's like, like The different the Different verticals that they have So mm. I was sat down with a guy Like I think he um He works with German Donald Kebab And like they work with them on sides mm, 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 mm. They work um the, the food thing they work with them on XIX or whatever they're the vodka. the vodka brand. They work with them on the, the same company that owns GDK or like works with yeah, yeah, yeah. the um sidemen on, on on these brands. And obviously that's outside of Prime, that's outside of but they they've got something for everyone. Yeah, they've got yeah, a product yeah, yeah. for everyone. Even their YouTube, they have a I was saying it to Marv the other day. They have like the content they put on. I know. And then there'll be a scene where it's like you might get a shot of behind the scenes and they'll be like, ah ah ah. If you want to watch what happened behind the scenes, go subscribe to let me tell you, more Sidemen. Let me tell you. So, wait, wait, wait. It's called Side Plus. Yeah. yeah? Bro, like, because I'm I'm observe, I'm watching <laughs> this thing. Like, I'm watching like it. Remember, I'm Plus. from I'm from old media, bro. I, I'm from films. I, I grew up. I've been yeah. in films my whole life, yeah? So, that's old media. That's dying media. So, I'm watching this new media. And I'm like, wow, this is mind-blowing. Because, like, I, and then I was, I went to the theater the other day to watch Karis, um, you, everyone should go and watch, yeah, watch um, her. She's in um, Tina Turner. Tina Turner yeah, yeah. It's the best thing I've ever seen with a female performer from the UK. Tina in the Turner, UK. Yeah. yeah, the musical. You know, like, Paris. Um, she, what, what was the name of the girl band group. as well? I can't Stushy. remember. St- Stushy. Yeah, Stushy. She was Stushy. in Stushy. You know her. When you see her, you know her. When you know her, you've seen her. Like, but Karis, she smashed it. She invited me. I come down, took my kids down there, took my family down there. And then Conan's down there. Me and Conan are talking about this online stuff. And Conan's gone, do you know, like, the side plus thing? You know, like, they've got, like, like they make millions from that yeah. every month Crazy. separately from YouTube. Yeah, and that's the, the people on YouTube that's are their subscribing own to their platform. Yeah. <laughs> you oh. know how me and him have got the drop? They've got a side plus, but side plus is for you've seen this stuff on YouTube, but if you want to see more, go on there. But everything think about it's a genius because you think about their name, Sidemen. Nobody wants to be a side, innit? Yeah. Like a side man was like, you were dead, innit? It was you're anyone, innit? Yeah. Like it's a diss. Yeah. But they've Reverse. They've re-owned it. They've re-owned it, like, and made it the thing. Like, the joke is, I don't think they've re-owned it. Like, they, they no, no, no. <laughs> they're literally it. saying, "Yo, we're, we're the we're side." What you said? They but, doubled down on it. Yeah, like we're side men, but this is what we do, and they're just slapping pops, out content, pops, bro. Pops, 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 pops. I think we had a conversation before, and I was saying that in terms of side men or the marginalized, they're becoming the bigger voices now, because back in the day, like, when you saw people like supermodels or you saw actors like Brad Pitt, whatever. All the, that's only, that was the only representation you saw. Mm. Like, everyone else didn't matter. Who the, the only people that mattered was the elite, the, yeah. the best-looking girl, yeah, the best-looking yeah. guy, the jock, the most popular, whereas now it's kind of switched around where it's like, yeah, you lot are cool, but we bring value also, and there's more of us, and we're going to support each other. Bro, do you know what so it it's is? it's kind of like a switch now. No, no, and I think that's good, because it, it's like, it's, anyone, it gives an option to anyone yeah, to make yeah, yeah, it. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. The, the nerd in his room, the guy who was getting bullied, the girl who everyone said was butters, can be the next hottest thing and, and be popping. I think that's what the internet's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the internet has made it that. Like, yeah. you know, like internet, Instagram killed supermodels. Discuss. <laughs> What's it? Discuss. We were like a bad B, bro. No, no, think about it. Instagram. <laughs> it did. It you know, did. the modeling industry yeah, it did. got killed by Instagram because actually but Instagram you know- made us realize there's just bare babes in the world. Also, do you know what Instagram, <laughs> do you know what Instagram has done yet? Or social media, should I say, yeah? Um, for some people, not for all, yeah, is force them to have a personality. Mm. Because no, no, do you know why? Because if you don't talk, there's only so many good-looking pictures you can upload. Yeah, I need to hear you say something. I need to hear you stand for something. I need to hear you talk about something. And if you don't fall into that realm, you've got to be a like you've got to be. Think about it now, yeah. People are comparing certain celebrities to David Beckham. 
And I'm like, yo, do you know what type of stardom David Beckham had back no, in the no, day? It's not, it's not, it's not the same as having yeah, X amount yeah, of followers yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, it's yeah, not the same. Yeah. But people are equating it to that because that's all they have. Oh my God, she's got five million. Bro, I said to my, my little brother the other day, there's girls in your class, you're 18, 19, uni. There's girls in your class with 500K followers. Mm. In your class. Think about us in the classroom and there's a girl that walks like, in with 500K it's followers. Crazy, it's crazy. You can't talk to her. No, I still will. <laughs> Come on, Taze, man. You know, my, you always have the pencil shop. Yeah, you know my, you know my thing. You get me? Is the pencil shop? Yeah. You know yeah, but you, do you do you not think the gram's got the same impact as it did? Like, I feel like it's just it's it's TikTok. It's, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, yeah, it's, it's not. It's it, not. It's not hitting. The it's what it's one of many vehicles nah, nah, now. Five hundred thousand followers isn't what it was before. So now it's kind of that exchange rate. You know, inflation. When you think mm. of what inflation is, so now to do what you could do with five hundred thousand followers before, you need two million followers now. If that makes sense in terms mm. of kind of Impact. how I feel, I think I think it depends. On, I think it depends on the country you're in. Now, for example, five hundred thousand here is not five hundred thousand in America. It's different. It's, is, it, is it less than America? It's less. Like five hundred thousand is like a ten k here. <laughs> <laughs> like, inflation. I know that sounds mad because there's not. That, remember. There's not America, that many people here. Five million. Yeah. They're like sixty-five million or something like that. And in London's the UK, like, yeah, London's nine. eight million, not eight nine million. So, if you have got someone in London that's got one point two million, and most people from London, you're lit. Most people in London know who you are. In America, you could have someone who's got five hundred k. Nobody knows who you are. Only in your state, maybe. Or, do you know what I'm saying? That makes mm. sense. So I'm saying I get what you're saying, but I still feel like Insta. For like sometimes you got to look at Insta. Like sometimes when you're living in Insta, and you know what your page is like. You can. Be like our Instagram don't hit like it is, but you gotta look at it like this. If someone doesn't know you and they look at your Instagram, what would they think? Mm. It still hits, bro, because that's your representation. If you go yeah, abroad, yeah, they to say you're meaty, they say you're meaty still. Do you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> if you go abroad to someone, you say to someone, ah, oh, um, let's swap follows, I mean, or whatever, or you yeah. speak to someone, if they see your page, because yeah. we've all seen it, that, it, it represents you. Yeah, still, we've all seen someone's page and thought. And also, and also okay. we, we we knew when the tide turned, I guess, when it was like, for example, you know when you approach a brand. Man, gas up the numbers, engagements, mad, blah, blah. You only you know what your engagement is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> only you know what your engagement is. So you're charging these brands these P. You know this is over the market, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but you know, the brand looking at your page, like <laughs> yeah. the brand's looking at your page, like, your yeah. page is lit. <laughs> Don't respond to that email. <laughs> <laughs> Don't respond to that email. This guy's a gaffer. But like, well, I think this is where a lot of people yeah, do fuck up so as well, funny. because they go in there and they tell the brands mad numbers. And you know, you know, when you look at your engagement and stuff like that, they have places where they can check. What your the metrics, shit, yeah, 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 metrics yeah, yeah. Is. But people think they can just go out there, throw some numbers out, you know what I mean? And it's just going to run like that. You can send that out, bro. They're sending that back, like, now nah, we're good because they know you're guessing up mm. the numbers. But you just never know what your what your price is, bro. Uh, I was just about to say that, bro. What, you never know, price, yeah. Though? But that's how you measure. The no, no, you know, the thing we've is, got a meeting no, <laughs> no but, but for us, I think, I think, I think I, sometimes we've lowballed ourselves. I think, I think the advantage <laughs> we've got is that actually we're never selling followers, we're selling our expertise, yeah. So it's like slightly yeah. different. I'm yeah. never going into meetings selling, oh, I've got this many followers on Instagram. Yeah. I like, know I'm going in selling oh, I've got this repertoire Look at my work Like I've done and this And also the reach this. Because when we make things It reaches And it beyond just us beyond Right us. So it's not just like You know it's Remember you've got An amalgamation of talent That makes projects work yeah. So it's not just Oh Femi and Nikki In a project can, It's like Can I also add I need to confirm That what you lot are saying Is true Because we were in Antigua Yeah And a man <laughs> A man did Spun the corner you know Yo, <laughs> I recognize you. Where did I recognize you from? <laughs> Nikki's looking at him like, brother, you don't know me, bro. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, man. Where, where, where you grow? I said, I'm, just, bro, I'm not from here, man. <laughs> and I'm like, and I, I, I don't know if it was me or Marvin. Someone said like intent. He goes, yeah. I said, see it. Do you know what's mad? Do you know, do you know what's crazy? So before like, I went Antigua in 2019, yeah. And I said to Slim, bro, the intent has gone clear. So on my first day, I'm with my missus, like, we're walking around, like, Antigua, like, the main town bit, you know, downtown, like, the yeah, downtown, yeah, yeah, yeah. the little touristy bit at the downtown, walking around. Some brother came and mobbed me, but he was pre... The thing is, I know when people recognize me because I've been doing this for too long. So before you say... Oh, do you go to my school? Yeah, Did yeah, it, yeah. I, basically, I recognize yeah, people yeah. recognizing me. Even before... The minute they do that... There's a look they do, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, I know yeah, it yeah. straight away. It's rare that someone recognizes me where I've not known that that's what you're going to do. So I'm always prepared, yeah? 
So this brother has done that look, but I'm like, nah, what in Antigua? No one knows me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm safe. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm gassing myself. The guy is walking, like following me and my missus around the whole time, the whole time. Next thing, comes over. He's like, you're from the inter... And then he started going on like, oh. Yeah. I goes, what? Do you see no one with popcorn? He's like, no, I see no original. Da, da. It's going on and on. And then he's like, do you want weed? Like, come and link me. Yeah, come and yeah, chill yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm on holiday with... <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, there's, there's levels to like fame, in it. Like, I feel like people are like, oh, you're known, you're known, or you're from that film, you're in the intent, you're in this, but you're recognized for the, for the work. And, and being in it But you know When you know When you're proper known Is when people Just know your name You know like You know you see Oh that's Idris Or that's Beckham Or like You know yeah, certain yeah, man yeah. It's different It's a different So it's like It's Femi from the intent Femi from Kid Yeah yeah It's Mooney It's your character It's your character It's Thing was getting it's that actor um, a lot from well. another hood um, like, <laughs> Michael Wood Like people got Say call him Jamie Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Character The, is the so thing no but That is different The actors right So like for movie stars Are known for their name So it's Will Smith in a movie Leonardo DiCaprio It doesn't matter what film he's in Leo. He's Leonardo I don't even know his character name No but that's yeah, not He's big No but yeah, he's no, big though No but yeah. No but wait Will, Like Will Smith is a movie star Leo is a movie star Idris Elba movies like these guys are brand the names. Bigger the than names whatever. bigger than whatever the project is. Yeah. Denzel, I don't know his character names apart from Frank Lucas. Every yeah. other character, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, but that's the transition. No, no, but, but, that's like, what I'm the, saying no, but the though. movies. But there's some people. No, no, who... but, but actors are known as their characters. People like until you when you transition to being Will Smith. That's when you're a movie star. That's when you're a star star. When you try oh. to I, don't, I don't know the guy's name it's from true, Wire. Man. He's Omar. Omar from The Wire. But I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. Yeah. Oh, Michael like Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Ghost. You, yeah, like Ghost. Yeah. What, what's his name? Um, Amari Hardwick. But yeah. that's because I've seen him in other... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But the point is, it takes, means, it takes yeah. a while for actors to transition to being like... No, but what's the definition again? Sorry, say it again. What, for me, I feel like movie stars... Is... Movie stars are people that are just brand names. Like Ghost. Yeah, like, no, no, no. no, no. no. Like The Rock. The Rock. Like Kevin you. Hart, what's you called in oh, Jumanji? Okay, so, so, just, so, yeah, just, yeah. just to prove, just to prove, just to prove, Femi, right? You've what, what's the new Denzel film? Equalizer. What's his name? <laughs> Equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. No, but nah, what, 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 what's Denzel's name? What's Denzel's name in Training, training day? day? I knew that was coming. Was, knew, and that's I, a popular film. Like, yeah, I don't know his name in Training Day, bro. I don't know his name. And I've seen that movie. And that's what I was thinking of. I was trying to remember when I was saying the Frank Lucas one. I was trying to think. Because you, because you knew the character's name before yeah. the film. Yeah. And, and, and so, who he played. And yeah. so like no, when you're saying Jamie, Jamie from Top Boy, like the reason Jamie from Top Boy is still Jamie from Top Boy and not necessarily Michael Ward, because mm. he's still been building a brand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So but, what's the difference in what you're saying? An actor is an actor is just like is casted to play a role in a film. So like it's Mooney. But if you're a movie star, it's Mooney. It's, name, yeah. it's Mooney. It's not Femi. So it's like when some, people people, some people don't know yeah, me as Mooney. Yeah, like, yeah. like the thing is, I've had to work really hard to be called Femi. <laughs> they just call you Mooney. I've had to work so hard. Like I've I've done almost twenty years of work for people to know me as Femi. And they're still calling you Mooney. But you know what's interesting though? When you switch when you switch it, it's like Kano in um Top Boy. You know him as Kano? Yeah. We no, do. Only, only no, if you we know Kano. Do. Some we people, do. Some, some people don't know Kano. Some, we some do. Some people know Sully. Sully. Yeah, we do. Sully, yeah. We know him as Kano. Yeah. Or Ashley yeah. D. You'll never Ashley D. Some people know him as Shane. So yeah. It's weird. It's like whatever, 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 whatever they're prominent as. or what, to, to you. To, to you. you. So for example, Ashley D is... But Shane some people... Yeah, but it's what entry point... It's what entry point you met them in your life. Yeah, yeah, Do you understand? So, like, my daughter, she knows Kano as Sully. Yeah. Like, that's just Sully, Sully, Sully. But to us, that's like... Kano. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it's really He's interesting. That. Because because Chucky was talking about it and we were on the train going to RB somewhere and you're saying that how it's little, Kane. Little plug there. Little come plug, on, man. Come plug. on, man. <laughs> it's Kane Robinson and we just know Kano. The version he's given us as Kano, Kano. and then some people will know the version he's given us as Sully, and yeah. whoever, whatever. Who I can't lie, man. To be... Kano's the version, bro. Yeah, come on, man. Like, man it's been a long Robinson, time. Kane Robinson, I hear you. No, but when you go into comments now on blog posts or whatever it is, I saw. I think they posted some Kano music. And a lot of the kids were rattled. Like, so if you look in the comments, and people are like, bro, he makes music. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but getting... that's what we know. But, 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 but I think, I think that's getting... amazing for him, though, because that means he's hit a whole new generation. And he's pivoted. Yeah. And as he's pivoted. And when he does drop new music, all those kids will follow. Follow. Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's just... Okay, argument, argument. But you know what's mad? Would his music have to change? 
No, what is music? Do, okay. do whatever I, music I think, he likes. I, I think the audience think, is the same. No, I, think, I, get, I get what you mean. I think he's got the old audience who's grown up with him, the same age group, and now him playing Sully, he gets a whole new audience. And I think he's a good musician, so he's always gonna. The music's always gonna be current. But I think what Taser's trying to say is because of Sully's character being such a prominent bad boy. Yeah, but he's not. It's gonna... kind of like. Some people would look at him and expect his music to maybe sound a particular way because. But of Kano his, is you know not Sully. I'm, I'm not, I, 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 no, I hear that, but I'm just saying it's in the new audience now because you know when people like they buy into your character sometimes and they buy into the persona because. Bro, bro, I genuinely think he's talented enough to t- to borrow from everything. I feel like he's played Sully so well. He so can, well, isn't it? He he will be able to put that into his music. You mm. know, he's gonna make different music for different. But also, right. he shouldn't have to. No, I'm, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. Because no, 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 we can't know the artist is not Sully. So. Yeah, but but um, what, 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 I guess what we're arguing is, do the new gen recognize that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's up to him when he wants to show them that. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's like ultimately, like you are, you are, who you say you are to people, right? Or people believe you. Black people, people think me and Nikki only make gang films because if that's the only thing they ever watch from us, then that's what they believe. People like until you present otherwise, yeah. people say this is what you are. Like you know, yeah, and you can't fault them. You, for can, that. you can't yeah, fault yeah, them yeah, for yeah, that yeah. because True. what they, they base their judgment on is the evidence that you've given them. Same, so, same like Instagram. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely think he's gone clear. I think he doesn't even need to worry about music. If, I think he's going to do music because he's talented enough to do that. And he's I think Kano, yeah. I think he's just he's cemented as Kano. He his music's going to come out and sell. Because he's got a core audience mm-hmm. who's going to bite into him. Like, yeah. like, certain people don't have to jump on trends. They don't have to, like, get the new kids on it's their way. It's compartmentalizing. Yeah, you like, have to figure out, this is like, if you have four jobs, you know what I mean? This is this job. This is that job. This is this job. This is this job. Sometimes you don't have to take anything from this job and bring it to this job. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I know who I'm dealing with here. I know who I'm dealing mm. with here. And I know who I'm dealing with here. And I feel like, musically, Kano has his core audience and... You know what I mean? From the new generation, he might pick up a lot of new people that will like what he puts out yeah, as it definitely. is without him having to tailor it. To it's not the a numbers thing for him. He doesn't have to come out and be number one for 10 weeks. He doesn't yeah. have to do and that. And Kano's he, never been. And he's, he's, there. he's Kano. Do you know Kano? Kano to me, like, he, not as much, but Kano, ah, this might sound like, this might be controversial here, but Kano seems to me like our cousin versus Jamie Foxx in terms of his music was, as a musician, he was. Up here, as an actor, he's up here. You know, certain man, their acting's here. They do music, is here. Certain man do music, but the acting, the music's here, but the acting's here. Do you know what I'm saying? As in, for me, when I'm look, looking at Kano, I'm not, like I'm when, not going to dispute what you're saying. Do you get? But, what, do you get but, what I'm saying? Because Jamie, Jamie Fox is an actor, musician, I need comedian. To, I need to see more from Kano, acting wise. I heard Just, he's amazing. I'm not saying kitchen. he's not in the kitchen. I'm not saying he's not. The, I've not seen him, but yeah. I hope the, the talk on the road is that he's yeah, amazing. But I, I can't lie to you. For me, watching Top Boy, yeah, he killed that role, brother. He killed it. And the yeah. thing is, I've I've seen you, you've seen Asher in it. You've seen Jamie. You see, so all these people like that came in. Modi. You've seen all these men have their um, their moments. Their moments. So like Modi had like lines where you're like, I'll take that away. You know what I'm saying? Crazy offender. Daily then like he had all those. But Kano had like. It was like other layers. It's like an onion, bro. As in like... It, says like an onion. it wasn't just a bad boy. It was Shrek like... Thing, you know? <laughs> th- there was like vulnerability. Then, then there was... When he needed to be bad, he was bad. When he needed to be vulnerable, when he needed to be wise, like... There but, was layers. But it was, it was mad. Yeah, it was sick. So for me, it's like, I get what you're saying. You need to see more, but I saw enough, bro. Nah, I don't think there's enough. I feel like Jamie Foxx to be where he is to be. Only because you compare it to Jamie Foxx. No, no, you, you don't get what I'm saying. No, no, I, I feel like I feel. I he's talking about talent level. Like, I'm, I'm, ta- okay. I'm talking about talent level. And even then, we need to see more in no, comparison no, to Jamie. Yeah. I, Jamie Jamie Foxx is, you know, what I would call a generational talent. You know those people where you can look at and think, you know, what I mean, he's put numbers on the. You know, somebody that excels like there's, you know, what I mean being good in stuff. Jamie Foxx is better than good. Jamie Foxx is one of those people that I feel is exceptional. You know where you can look at groups of people and you're like, there's a certain number of people you can look at and think to yourself, you know, there's only a handful of people. I think Kano like is one of them. That's what I'm saying. And, and, you're and, you're, 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 you're not getting what I'm saying. He's there a lot. I, 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 I hear I that, but I'm do. saying, it, for me, in my personal That's opinion, a, in compa- like, if we're comparing, if we were to say, you know what, I feel like Kano is, you know what I mean, he's exceptional, and what he does is great, but I feel like the comparison is like, no, you're, you're, there's you're, not in... No, you're taking it too literally. When Jamie Foxx first came out here, and he was a comedian, he used to sing 
in these comedy sets. And it's like, better than certain rapper um, people. Are, but, uh, yeah. but then, but in your mind, you're thinking you ain't going to take this seriously because you're a comedian. But he pivoted to singing, and when he um, came into that arena, he was here. Mm. Then when he acted, but he destroys he, every acting brother. Yeah, 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 every yeah, acting, yeah. So he destroys saying, with, every so acting. So with Kano, music wise. I get from, what you're from, saying. From, from I, agree, si- I agree with both of from, you. From, remember, from 16, 17, Kano was like ahead of most I, man I, and Grant. It was I, ridiculous, I, I bro. I think Kano is easily could be one of our Jamie Foxes. And we need I, to I, see I, and more. And I think, I think, well, you're going to see more. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think now. And I'm looking he, forward to it. Like, I'm sure he's got the hunger to do much more. Yeah. But I, I believe he's a person who doesn't do many things. But yeah. when he does, he does do, it well. He does bro. it amazingly well. Yeah. Because Tony Gee, that's his first. Act. That's his like, first acting gig ish. Which yeah. is why we need to see a no, few but, more to see. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, but when you see someone acting for the first time and you're like, this ain't the first time we acted. Like, I didn't see him and think, mm. Is it Wonder Kid? And yeah. do you know with Jamie, do you know what? <laughs> and do you know with Jamie, what gives us what we get from yeah, Jamie? Messy. Not to even compare them. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's, you know, it's range. When you look at people in different roles where you're like, cool, you did this great. What else do you do? You know what I mean? What other acting thing? So I'm not but saying. But Jamie's got more opportunity in America. No, 100%. To get to that range. Yeah. Yeah. You can only get better with the opportunity. And also, also, it's different stages of their careers. careers like, yeah. Kano's kind of still new. That's He's very new. Jamie Foxx has been like going from when I was And a the kid. age difference like, is like... Do you know what I mean? So, which is why I feel like, you know what I mean, it's a bit Kano's too got early still. To, you know what I mean? No, so, no. What I meant by what I was saying is, is that, that is that level of talent? No, we get yeah, that. We get yeah, me. Yeah. I get me. I get because me. normally, when it comes to people pivoting, whatever they're strongest in stands out. As in, like for example, as I said, the music will be what you, everyone knows you for, but everyone knows you might act on the side, or you might be an actor and you delve into music. But when you can act so well that people forgot you were a musician and don't even know, do you know what's they, deep? They, though? they just thought you were an actor. Do you know what's deep? It's hard for musicians. It's hard for actors to become musicians. Yeah. Yeah. That's not easy talent. Because you can't take them seriously. Yeah. Do you know? Like, do you, like, well, they just like, got to be good. Like, it's no, but I think it's hard to take an actor seriously that is like, we've seen you pretend to be someone. No, no, but Steven, that, no, but Steven Seagal done the, the Bashman team, bro. Yes. <laughs> Come on, like, you, you might not know what the team is. I genuinely think if Kano's got his American accent on Smash, he's gone. He, he's gone. Mm, sick. I think if he's if he's mastered that as well as he's mastered everything else, you, and he steps I got, in, I got do you know who I think could have done the music thing a bit more if he had wanted to as well? <laughs> Eddie Murphy. No, he had some no. bangers. Still, some bangers. Why, did all do, why did they all do reggae? But if you, but Eddie, it's like they're mocking reggae. Eddie Murphy was cold. <laughs> Eddie Murphy was not cold. Eddie Murphy was no, cold. Was, 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 the difference between Eddie Murphy and Jamie Foxx is they both could sing, but Jamie Eddie could, couldn't sing. But, no, Jamie no, no, could no, sing. No, no, no. Eddie, Eddie could, could sing, could. but the thing is, Eddie made garbage songs. <laughs> the songs were just tacky, so you wouldn't take him seriously. Where Jamie, and also, Jamie, had, Jamie had sauce, man. And Jamie's intro was Kanye as well. Yeah, it was brazy. Yeah, and that was, so, so that was when out, Kanye was producing, producing. So you yeah, came yeah. out with respect straight away as in like that. that. I think it's hard to transition. Have you heard the story, you heard the story about behind that? Yeah. Um, yeah. How you got into the studio? Tell me. Oh, you, you heard it? Everyone else seems to. Always cousins. Hit him up. Yeah. I said, um, what did you say? Kanye's in the studio recording, pull up. And then I think he's pulled up. They're just chilling in the studio. And then he had to think on the spot. So he just said, play the beat. And he heard the beat. And that's where he came with. But, no, it's way no, around, no, man. But Kanye, so around. basically, Kanye, Kanye had the whole thing, and he's like, Kanye's told him, Kanye told to him sing. how to sing it because he was exactly. gonna, oh, he, he was man. gonna sing it properly, yeah. like a proper singer. So he's like, Kanye's told him, sing like this. But you think I'm a singer, bro? You're gonna tell me? And Kanye was like, listen, trust the process, do what I'm telling you. Sing like in what? The studio. But that's why I say Kanye and Pharrell. Yeah, Can't literally. If you think of yeah. Yeah. Wait, you brother, think, brother, if you think of the way he sings, Kanye sung it exactly. Like, remember when you're watching it back. You're watching it before this tune's come out. So Jamie's like, oh, I'm going to sing it. And how should I sing it? Kanye's like, sing it like this. And Jamie's like, ah, no, Kanye's like, no, no. Then he started saying, basically, how the song was, Kanye singing s- it. sang it to him. So Jamie done it. Even Pharrell, when Pharrell's with Old Dirty Bastard in, um, for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw, saw that, that one. That Bro, crazy. ODB was like, how should I do it? And Pharrell's like, I'll go in there and do what you want. ODB was like, nah, 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 nah. Give me that direction. I'm here with you. You tell me how you wanted to do it. Pharrell sang it, bro, and then ODB just done it. Do you know what's sick cold. about? Have you, not, have you not seen cold, that? Um, bro. Yeah, crazy, that's how, yeah. That's, that's, that's why I'm saying uh, certain man producers, it's mental because yeah. 
in their, they've already got the melody in their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and they bring it out and they yeah. tell you. This and is that's the difference deserve. between producers and beat makers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Certain man are just beat makers, mm. but certain man produce. And Jamie was like, he didn't even know if the song was going to come out. You know, one of those things, you go in, you record the tune, it is what it is. And he's like, you know, next time he heard it, he was number one. On the radio, oh, no. he's like, he didn't. You know, one of those ones you're like, nah, <clears throat> I did some shit with this guy in the studio. Bro, there's time best, ago, there's best song singers, yeah, or uh, rappers, yeah, that the song that became their single for the album, they didn't want to bring that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, I didn't even like it, you know. Like, T Pain's another example. He didn't like the. Um, Martin, though. Yeah, he didn't like it. I think T Pain is so sick. I think he's, oh, so, I think he's so. He, he signed album. a bad deal. Nah, though. I think he's a. Have you heard like, his new cover album where he does covers of loads of songs? No, I'm not. Bro, that that dude can sing. Yeah, he's talented. Yeah, yeah, he's talented. Yeah, yeah. He's talented. But well, he just signed a bad deal, man. What was his deal? And then he spent a lot of money as well. What was his deal? Like, no, when he tried to clash Jay Z. <laughs> For what? For what? Do you remember that? Jay Z done Death of Auto Tune. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Death of Auto Tune was brazy, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, but no, Jay Z was disrespectful. No, but no, no, no. Jay Z had enough. No, no, no. Yeah, but even yeah, Usher. Actually, he had a problem with Usher as well. No, but we I got, saw the Usher one. No, but we got to a point where the Auto Tune thing was mad, though. Yeah, but it's back. It was mad. Is it back? Yeah. All, all these things are normal now. All these little babies use auto yeah, yeah, It's normal now. The thing is, because it's so normal, you, you don't even hear it no yeah, more. Yeah, the reverb, the reverb yeah, is moving. Yeah, your ears are used to the um, song. Bro, all these little babies. Playboy, all the... Carty, um, Travis Scott, all these men use it, bro. Yeah, yeah, true. Do you, not, I, feel, do you not feel like... Um, sorry, ask a question because it's on the I same I was going to say with the, with the T-Pain thing, he did the auto tune so much, people genuinely thought he couldn't sing. So yeah. when people heard him sing, it was like, say what now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so the funny. dude was like, oh, I just did yeah, this yeah. because it was fun. Remember, he we, like, we thought you couldn't sing, sing this yeah, whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying he he was on like, there's a summer, yeah. I um, thought the one that I think 2012. BET. Or two, either 2008, 2012. BT nominated Best Hip Hop well, tune. He was song. on like six songs, man. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. of the seven. Do you mean he done a bad deal though? I didn't hear about that. No, no, no. As in like, he made bad decisions. Hence okay. why he's just like, you know, and now he makes more from, he said he makes more from streaming than music. Because yeah. of like, you know like when um, the music industry kind of accepted streaming and started streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's deal changed. Like the money that you know were generating weren't yeah. the same anymore. And a lot of oh, no, artists... No, you mean gaming streaming as in Twitch? No, no, I know. Like I'm talking about music wise. He made a lot. You know that like when every... Every artist reaches that point where it's like they drop the next album, it doesn't peak, and the label tells them, "Yeah, so you're you're still in the red." Like, yeah, what? am I still it's in? Mad. Yeah, so I was watching something the other point. day. Literally, I think it was on Instagram. Someone was talking about like who put the price on streaming. Yeah, like how the you DSPs. Know? Yeah, yeah. They like, figured they like, sat there. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad. Like who, the DSPs who, and the labels. Who made that up? The DSPs and the labels. Like, you know, you they should get paid this for this stream. The only, stream. Point, the only problem with streaming for me is it works in both ways. So I feel like it. If you're if you're popping, it's a cheat code. If you're not popping, you're screwed. It's you're screwed. Because that's I why agree. like you're looking at Drake. Like Drake's an amazing artist, but when you're saying like Drake ties with Michael Jackson for not, you're like, I hear it, but, but Michael got physical it. copies. Do you know yeah. what it is? Should, that's, should I tell you what it is? Copies, like, and, also, and also Drake, sorry to cut you. Yeah, Drake is doing this thing where like because he's put his album out and everyone's streaming, then like ten of his songs will be in the top ten. It's like a cheat code. No, no, no bro. They, they have, they've had to introduce a new rule. Only, <laughs> only three of your, only three of your sing, your, your main, your most streamed um, singles on the charts at the time. Only three count. If they've they've done introduced this rule because of that. Like Ed, people like Ed Sheeran, people like Dave, people like Drake. Once they drop a single, they dominate the charts, bro. bro. Yeah, because look, look at look at look at look at, look at, look, look at is, Sprinter, is, that they yeah. have to take them yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a new rule. That, that, that was, was like after they made us like, a rule yeah, to after get them 10 off. Ten weeks, we've got to take you off. It's like that's uh, mad, but, but they're still selling. Them. That's taking the piss. No, no, yeah, but yeah, they made that. But they're making all these new rules because streaming is just moving mad. Like a song's dropping and it's getting X amount of streams, and they can't measure why. Maybe it's because. People are using it on TikTok. Listen Maybe it's because it, people yeah. actually listen to it. Maybe because it's the radio. No one can define How why. How can you take man off yeah, number it's one? Mad. It's they mad. took them off. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I, I sat in here, yeah, quickly, yeah. This um, seems serious, bro. I was going to say, no, was just, as Mark, thing that just to say the Drake and the Michael Jackson thing as well. Do you know where you really start to see if it's, you know, machine for machine? And when you look <laughs> at machine, machine for machine. You know it's not mean? machine for machine, though. And this is where it is. When you start to look at, you know, you look at shows. Yeah, Michael Jackson is like cool. We, you know what I mean? It's like we're numbers with numbers on sales or whatever. Let's let's see shows. Would see, you say Drake's bigger than Michael Jackson? No, no, no. Now? He's about to explain why. No, 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 not even close. 
Michael Jackson's Dangerous tour was the biggest tour any performer had done in history. Staging took nearly three days to set up. The tour included 69 concerts, reaching over 3.5 million fans. But you know the reason when they say it took three days to set up because things were like moving slow. Technology. <laughs> no, 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 no
the current times version of what MJ was. Yeah. Because, for example, I was even saying this, this is another topic that I was talking about, yeah, to someone the other day, yeah, that a lot of the time, if you look at the actors, I mean, the actors, the singers of yesteryear, yeah, performing was part of the repertoire. Like, mm. you had to be able to perform to mm. be mm-hmm. even considered as... It wasn't mm. about the lights. It wasn't about the do, show. Do it wasn't saying? about all the glitter it, around no, it. Was, no, as an artist, you had to be, you had to encompass everything. Mm. So even if it's Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston, Dan Ross, whoever it was, Phil Collins, but I think they had their own stage Bon Jovi. I think he just wrote Bobby Brown in there, though, because yeah, Bobby Col- Brown was cold. No, no, yeah, cold, but I'm just saying as in, like, so... They needed to know how they to needed perform. George Michael, Elton John, all these men, whether they were dancers or not, they had stage. They had a show. Yeah, 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 they had a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a show. When they performed, you knew about it. Yeah. Whereas the new gen now, because you can get famous from just off a tune. Can I be real though? When they perform something, you're looking at boss, it like this performance is terrible. Bro. Boss, boss. I went to the BET Hip Hop Awards, yeah. Maybe that's a British thing. The, I, the other day. Them lot. Did their thing I watched it live Recently. I was I was in row H Are we, are we, are we saying them um, sexy reds? Ski. I was there Ski. Yeah. Yeah. That, that performance thought... was terrible bro <laughs> No no I'll tell you what The performance she, that 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 bro, 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 Wait 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 No listen. no listen. Yeah. 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 No wait wait wait, wait. Yeah. No no wait wait Bro 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 wait 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 I said fuck this Like so imagine She No wait wait She was the worst performer yeah There Yeah But actually Watch the performance again. Watch what's going on around it, right? So even though she's not a great performer, people they, are vibing. They, no, not even people vibing. Dances. The performers and everyone no, around. But, no, but they that's put not stage. Her. Con- I know. No, I'm just saying. I'm saying. I'm saying I'm, things, no, but wait, wait, wait. I'm saying. What? I'm saying. Sexy red, but I feel like I'll catch something whenever I see. One <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, what what I realized with that American thing, right? I saw LL Cool J perform. Bro, yeah. he was doing fly kicks. The guy's in his probably sixty now. Or something. <laughs> like the, kicks, the guy did. No, but he, but he can perform. No, no, no. He was different level. Like he's even like down to like. Jeezy performed. Hey, and well, it was, hey, listen, I knew through lo- my phone when he came out. Yeah, no, so did I. D- but DJ I was Drama. there. Bro, I was there. Imagine how I felt when Jeezy said, last time, last time I checked, I was, was the, the man, man on these streets. Come on, that's <laughs> crazy. Man, yo. Do you know the album? See, like, you lot know Dapson. That, that's like me and Dapson. Hey, that's our thing. Brother. <laughs> Don't shivers, like, shivers, hey, bro. What, that's what, that's shivers. How do you think I felt when he said that? I was there, bro. When um, Fabulous came out, yeah, I was like, because I saw DJ Rama. I'm Fabulous, with you. When I'm Fabulous with you. came out, I was like, yeah. All right, cool. T.I. T- 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 came out, mm, they done rubber band, man. I said, all right, mm. cool. Oh, yeah, no, I, I watched that, so I watched that, yeah. Yes, I know, I know. Jesus, no, no, bro. And, and, um, what's the first song he done? He done track. Um, What's the first song? Oh, no, that's the song he did. No, no, there's a new. He done two. No, he did that song first. He came, he, all I heard was, yeah. <laughs> that song, beat is cold, you know. What song did he do that first? Beat, that beat, yeah. Lil Wayne's got a, um, a freestyle on that same beat. I didn't beat. even know that. Oh, brother. Send it to me. I didn't brother. even know that. You know um, I mean? I'm still stuck on, you know what I mean? Um, what um, Nikki said, you know what I mean? We, you'll we be doing some the, research. I'm just saying, I just want to point out, American performers, even when Sexy Red is awful, like she's got a state, Energy, like it's, they've got a show. No, but the thing is, they've fem- got a show to no, but, compensate no, but fem- for it. No, no. You see, in England, I've seen some bad shows. No, man, but, fem- but <laughs> no, but I'm saying what I'm just saying to you is no, but forget the back, the the, the, the backup people, the actual performance. No, no she, because she, also what what I've realized as well about songs that come out now is that they have this energy for the first 30, 40 seconds. Because they only have to engage just, for that. When, long. The, when the song comes out, you're like, then after a while, you'll see the crowd just. No one even knows the second verse. Yeah. It's mad. Whereas yeah. other art, well, back in the day, you knew the the core, you knew everything. You're waiting, you know, you're waiting for the bridge. You know whose performance was cold though? City girls. <laughs> That's all cheeks. The, for me, I just think those I know, I'm not feeling all this new. <laughs> I, I, couldn't I, couldn't myself. Myself. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah, subject yeah. myself to that kind of stuff. And when we think, and you know what goes back to you know what we were saying about Drake and everything, the numbers. Where is machine for machine? Is literally how many you, it's easy to get streamers, it's easy to get people to buy your Whatever, because it's literally it's just one purchase. You're done and out. Getting people to come out is it's very different. And, I, and Usher proved that. No, yeah. but Drake can shows I, sell out though. Can yeah, I? No, 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 Drake shows no, are good. They're, no, they're, they're, no, Drake, they're actually good. No, shows. Drake's a go. But my thing is this: I feel like it's it's not fair because, for example, if I'm on Spotify or I'm Apple Music, I've got the app on my phone. So when a new album comes out, it's nothing for me just to go into their name and just listen. 
Whereas back in the day, you had to pay fifteen brother, pounds. You had to go you to the HMV. Shop. Fifteen yeah, yeah, yeah. pounds. You, had to you actually invested. say, "I want this." You yeah, invested. Yeah, yeah, you invested. Do you know what I'm saying? You and have you, to. And not only are you, are you doing that, you're making fifty million people do that. Mm. I used That's to sell ten thousand records crazy, on white. Bro. He used to yeah. sell ten thousand records on from white, the boot ten, of his car. Ten thousand yeah. people buying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Can I white labels? Can I add Can I add this something else to the thing as well? When we, I'm going to read out the top ten. Concerts in the world that's grossed the highest yeah, figures, yeah. Taylor but also Swift. take it, also yeah. yeah now they're there, but take into consideration how many shows they have to do as well. Yeah, cool. So Coldplay is at number ten. It grossed five hundred and twenty-four million. Crazy. They had five point four million in attendance that's with one hundred and fifteen shows. But the only thing is, to cut you. What years are these? Oh, this is uh, 2016, 2017. Crazy. Because sometimes some you can have a concert that was grossed five hundred million in ninety four. No. Oh yeah, I'll read in, that out in twenty twenty three. That five hundred million Magic. might have been like one point two million now. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Rolling oh. Stones, um, number nine, the No Filter tour in twenty seventeen to twenty nineteen with a couple shows in twenty twenty one, five hundred and forty seven shows, two point nine million in attendance. Five hundred and forty seven shows. No, sorry, five hundred and forty seven million gross. Oh. Two point nine million in attendance. Only 58 shows. Wow. You see what I'm saying? His uncles are caking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're doing less shows. They're doing wow. less. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to skip eight. Eight's Rolling Stones. Seven's Beyonce. Renaissance tour, the one she's just done. How Five, much How much did that make? 580 million. 2.8 million in attendance with 56 shows. Wow. Do you know how brave it is to have yeah. 2.8 million that's, people come to your show? Crazy. No, bro. I'm telling you, you so haven't seen the Beyonce show. It's I, crazy. I, 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 I want to see you number one. But now, I'm, I'm glad that you said them numbers there. Sorry to pause you because you said Beyonce's biggest show, 2.8. Right? 2.8 million in attendance. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 1992. <laughs> 1992. <laughs> Michael Jackson, go. you know, Bad World Tour. Yeah, you know? Yeah. I remember 4.4 million people. Yeah. You know what I mean? 90, 123 shows. Yeah. Uh, Dangerous World Tour, 92, 93. You know, uh, 69, sh- 69 shows. 3.5 million people. What about Black and White? How much did it gross? How much? What about Black and White? This one, there's no numbers for that. The first one, Bad World Tour, was 125 million. That's 90. That's, that's no, that's, that's 87. That's like, that's like triple the money, isn't it? Yeah, really? so 87. Triple. So if we were doing no. triple, it's probably 10 times. 1992, yeah, 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 ten, yeah. yeah ten, that's three years ago. No, no, yeah. that's 87. Yeah. So Bad World that's, Tour was 87. Yeah. 87, that was like, mine wasn't even one. Can I ask you a question? Who's wait, wait, the last one, the history tour, you know, 82 shows. Mm-hmm. 4.5 million people. So when I say, you know what I mean, numbers, like when you think of the number of people that Michael Jackson was bringing out. Right so on. that's why I'm like, there's a lot of things it's where crazy, we can look at and say crazy. machine for machine, money-wise, you know what I mean? And, and if you, let's think of ticket prices. So you have artists now where they can sell, you know, things Did like Elvis higher. tour? Did Elvis tour? Oh, he I, I got number tour. two. I don't know who you're thinking number two. Ed Sheeran. Come on. But he's gone, you know. What's Taylor Swift? Ed Sheeran's on the Yeah, yeah, no, yeah Ed Sheeran's Ed number two. Where's Taylor? He's Taylor's not even on the list. What about One Direction? Wait, wait. No. Harry Styles is on the list. He's number five. Do you know about this thing about um, Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran, yeah. Is his concert, he must make the most money. And yeah. the reason why he's just him on the guitar. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no production. No, brother. Maybe a screen. Maybe a screen. W- one screen guitar. <laughs> what about Adele? Adele. No, nah, she's not on the list. Ed wow. Sheeran's number two. Um, the Divide Tour in 2017 to 2019 grossed 776 million. 8.9 million people in attendance. Mental. With 258 shows. You know when he's doing certain things for the man them, yeah? He yeah, really yeah, does. Yeah. He's really just showing love. You see, no, Ed, no, he, you see, he's you see Ed, yeah? He's one of the only people that I can honestly say is clean-hearted and calm, bro. Because he's at a level now where he doesn't have to... Like, I don't need no one. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. you, crazy. Lord. Fuck off. But mm-hmm. if you mention someone to him and he remembers you, he don't lie about the story. Even the thing He's on Jarrah Deli I was seeing the other day and he was like, they showed him a mixtape of like the Graham mixtape. You see that one? No, he he mentions that. Russell. And, and he mentioned Scholar and he was like, ah, oh, when I was in school, um, I wanted to oh, I sing R.I.P. Scholar. Oh, yeah. Scholar. And he was like, yeah, I wanted um, to to be with like on Rough Squad, like some of their singles and that. So I, I reached out to all of them, but Scholar got back to me. And we used, to, we used to send music back and I appeared on, look, look at the track that he put me on. That's Red crazy. And he was like, yeah, big up Scholar. And he started talking about Rough Squad. That, but, but the way he remembers stuff is like, you know, certain man will be like, I can't really remember this, you know what? But he remembers everything. You know, I've got I, a I, mad Ed Sheeran story. And he well. shouts at everyone's name, bro. I've got a mad Ed Sheeran story. You wouldn't even go viral. It's, it's just a bit mad. So like, I remember like when, so I was 21, I'd just come out of uni. Adulthood had just come out. It's number one in the UK box office. But like, I'm like, finished my law degree and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do acting now. 
The first job I get after uni and after adulthood comes out is this play called Somewhere Over the West Way and it was going to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I don't know if you've been to Edinburgh Fringe Festival before, but it's basically a bunch of like drama school graduates, comedians, people just trying to hustle to try. It's a way to make get into the industry. So anyway, so I'm like, I go on this Edinburgh Fringe Festival. You're there. You have to fly her to promote your show. Remember, I'm like, Mooney from Kiddled in my head. <laughs> like, thinking, I'm, this is crazy. I'm, t- I'm like, I, this is like, I'm not even thinking it, bro. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm a star. What am I doing? Like, I'm obviously I'm not. I'm older now. I'm more mature. Like, understand the game. Da, da, da. I'm a little bit more refined. But at the time, you- I'm like, there's no, <laughs> there's no world where I'm flying. Yeah? yeah. So I would pretend to fly in the morning and just go and hide in a coffee <laughs> shop <laughs> with some next actor because I just was not. It's just not. <clears throat> I wasn't on it, and I was proper depressed. Like I was there for a month. And it was, I think it's been the longest I've been away from home. A month? Like, this thing's festival yeah, for a month? Yeah, for the whole of August. Oh, man. So I'm there for the whole of August. Remember, like my film, in my head, yeah, my film was number one in the box office a few weeks before. So I'm like, this is the worst period of my life. Now, one day I'm walking down the street, yeah, and then this ginger you comes up to me. He's like, Ra, you're from, you're from Kid Outwood. That's like, I can't believe you're here gassed. Gassed to meet me, yeah. Says, Oh, do you know, I'm performing at this pub later. Like, oh, do you want to come? I know you do. Me- he knew everything about me. He he's knew. He's invested. No, no, bro. bro. Yeah, when invested. I mean this guy knew, because at the time I was trying to be an MC, he knew that. He knew everything about my life. He was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you MC in it. Like, I'll oh, come to the pub. There's a pub later. I'm performing. Maybe you can MC with me as I pl-. I swear to God, yeah. If my brethren Jay Brown, yeah, wasn't there, I would never tell this story. Did you, did you go to the pub? Yeah, we performed together, bro. Me and Ed Sheeran That's at this mad. pub in Scotland. That's crazy. In Edinburgh. And do you know what? Yeah. Do you know what? No, because I thought he was going to say no. So see, no, no. I was going to say, you missed that. No, do you know what was mad about that? Do you know what was mad about that? Do you know what was mad about it was that, obviously, he was like, no, I'm going to move to London soon. I'm like, I was sleeping on sofas. I'm just touring, like, just me, like, just doing my different shows, blah, blah, blah. So when he got on, like, when he moved to London, mm. like, actually, I used to do a podcast, Cut the Chat. The first, the day he signed his deal, he come on our podcast. Oh, like, the sick. day he signed, like, Brother, me, like, like, you don't forget people, Like, me bro. and him, yeah, me and him, yeah. like, for a while, like, for the first few years, I like, was quite close because it was like, because of that moment, because actually, what he did for me in that moment was that I was like at one of the lowest points in my life. Yeah. Gave value, innit? And then that guy reminded me mm. of who I was and yeah. made me feel like who yeah. I thought I was yeah. at that time. It was just an unfortunate do, circumstance. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so like, but like, I, as in being up there. Yeah. Yeah, like I was just mad. But you just said he got a number one. <laughs> I said, I, I, no, my no, no, my bed is like I was dead. <laughs> no, no, no. no he's the one that said he was yeah, depressed. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, yeah, I, was, I was, I was. I didn't I was. send him to Fringe Fresh. No, because he said, 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 he I'm thinking, what? Do you know we what? I've never done that. Do you know what it no, is? No, we wouldn't have been there for a month. No, you, we don't know. We're going to just, 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 just slot and just go up there and come back. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Above, no, there was, there's different levels, Edinburgh. The level I was at was the level where you still had to sell your show. Right, like, but the we don't know if you had to do that or not. Like, yeah, now I'm thinking yeah, about it. We, we, we didn't entertain the idea. No, like, no, 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 no. But the thing is, there's people that go up there, they do big shows, it wins yeah. awards, da, da, da. It's different levels. But like for me, like that... Linking him that way And so when I see Everything that he's doing With a man them And all of that I'm like oh it's real Yeah it's sick yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, even yeah, fake yeah, yeah. Like no, it's, no, it's yeah. all real Like he's, when he When he was making Like that grime When he made that, that grime album like, I'm like it's real This you was no, a fan no, definitely. Mm. If he was a fan of me Not just as an actor As a rapper When I was no I was nobody's <laughs> yeah, MC you're like, he's about to I'm like he knows Man said no pull ups Yeah <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't see That Eskimo dance Or something like that You know what I'm saying But yeah man God bless him You would have stuck out though yeah. In Esco, you'd have been like, what is that? Now you're telling me like, where would he be, is, man? But the thing is, no, but because he's so cool, he would have been, he would have been calm. No, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one of those ones because yeah. he's blessed, bro. Do you, you miss, do you miss those days? hundred percent. But uh, I said it to someone the other day. You didn't know, we didn't, we didn't, we, you know, we didn't know what we had. It's crazy. Bro, we I didn't said, know what we had, I said, bro. I said to someone the other day, yeah, that you lot just see, ah, you got a guest on the podcast. I remember, for example, when we had DW, yeah. This is a man that when I was 13, 14, bro, I'm, I'm using my pencil to um, turn over the Your tape. Your pen, man. 
The pencil was too thin. Yeah, 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 you, right. yeah you, you, you can't yeah, use yeah, pencil. Yeah, yeah, if, if I didn't have a pen, I'm gonna try to use a pencil. But you no? can't use a pencil. You 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 just you can like, be in the class like this. <laughs> Rewind the thing, yeah, you know? To say yeah, but I'm putting, I'm putting it in the stereo and I'm pressing record to listen to Nasty Crew on radio. Yeah. yeah. So to I, have him sitting here and just talking about those times, to me, that's a big moment. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people are not going to know that. If people don't realise Eskimo dance, like for example, we talk about Kano, talk about all these people, yeah, but there was a point in time when you go Eskimo, you pay, even if you pay £20, whatever, on, but uh, you have, he's, a he, he, lineup. he's connection come out and do their set. Nasty Crew will come out and do their set. Roll Deep will come out and do their set. Brother, do you know, like, how many people you're seeing, bro? Do you know who these are now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then mad. at the end, there'll just be like a mix of whoever's Everyone's here. Everyone's doing their free 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 You're seeing back to back just pull up but, the law. But, and there's moments you're for, catching. For, you're like, for £20! Yeah, but, but it's crazy. Imagine it's a bargain. Those moments you're catching, you're not seeing them for like another year or two, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might never see it again. And the thing is, is is I remember seeing, I remember Watford, like, Bashy and Flirt D. Going back to back, D like it is an iconic time, but it's, yeah. you know what? It's all based off like SoundClash Sting, in it. Mm. Like mm. everybody was looking at Sting, and we wanted to recreate that whole thing. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Because if you look at it, it's like one selector, them not on the mic, everyone spraying. Who can get the the big? I was watching literally two days about um the top twenty reads. I knew you were gonna say oh. that. I knew, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Wait, I was watching I it. Like, wait, I was watching wait, it. Like, wait, it, like wait, are you from Knots though? Is it Knots or um the you that goes um. Where he said the girl, the girl tries to um, wear his roly, but he says I'm not Wiley. Who's that? He's, he's in the top ten. He's in the top ten because it's a random MC. I don't know him, but he's got a bar. It's not Devilman. Nah, it's not Devilman. Devilman's from Birmingham. Nah, it's not Devilman. I don't remember that. He's, oh, I used to find it. He's got a bar where he says something about um. I, I, on, on that, on that. Um, what what, what, who, what who, who, do you think? Who do you think is the biggest? Like, who got the biggest reload? Double. Yeah, yeah. I. Do you know what it is? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, I, it's D double, bro. N- what did ever? No, but like, but Flirt D used to get some bro, yeah. crazy <laughs> ones. Flirt D <laughs> got some mad no, reloads. For me, for, for, do you know what it is? The people used to get the maddest reloads, Tinchy. Yeah, Tinchy's Cause, was Because Tinchy was like, when he was small and like yeah, just yeah, fresh yeah, out, yeah, 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 the hoodie was all big. Yeah. I remember like, his sleeves would be like, yeah, he's holding yeah, a microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let me see the gun finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Pull it, pull it. You get me? Tings in boots. But look, brother, look at the video. These men spoke about this video, yeah? No. 20 to 1, yeah? The guy's in the same video. No. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, 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 I know the top, the, no. the, top, the top 10 would have... It's but, uh, so D-double. When, when you get top 10, you don't have to explain them. It's D-double. Yeah. Wiley. Wiley gets... I, I, for, um, for me, the, I, I feel like... The top per, 10 here. The, per, the, person who got, the person who got the easiest reload, I think was Dizzy. Yeah, Dizzy was crazy. Like, it's just there's too many. He just got too many like, bars. Like, but he wasn't, that, that, he wasn't that. always there though. Like, he wasn't no, always there though. Like, no, no, it wasn't according, always there. According remember, to this, obviously, yeah. obviously, when he when he done the album, he kind of checked out. But yeah. when he was there, like Dizzy's lyrics, like even the time when he had the the crash with Asha D. Yeah, and he was just at the top of the stage. He was like, "Ah, oh, come on!" It was too easy. It was reload <laughs> after reload. He took his hat off. He was like, "Ah, oh, come on! What am I doing here?" Right, look, so let me let me read this out. Yeah, so the aim was not to try and let my bias for the legends or favorite MCs have any impact on who's included in this list. The youngers want the new gen included, and the olders want the legends. Some have issues with mainstream like Stormzy. It's a catch twenty two. So this list is subjective. The order that they're placed in is open for debate. All opinions are valued and welcome. Yeah? Who made this list? You? Why no, are you just, defending this list? No, I'm reading it out. I'm, I'm going to read well, it out. Where's from, the, from the YouTube? The YouTube that we've all watched. No, no. The video's got nearly no, 200k views. No, no. I don't There's think it's a few of them. It's not the same video. Okay, cool. Because the video that we watched uh, is literally Eskimo Dance Top 20 Reloads and it keeps the gunshot, you hear it. And it's only Bashy, Marcy Phonics. Um, oh, so you watch um, Eskimo Dance's Top 20? Yeah. Oh, this is... Um, Grime Reload. Oh, oh, I ain't seen that one. I ain't seen oh, that one. Oh, right, right, cool, cool, cool. My but bad, my bad. I, I ain't thought... seen that one. I ain't seen... There's a few it's, it's on the there. Ba- it's the bait it's one, the... though, the picture with Grimmie. He, he does top 100 Grime. So this is 20 to 1. You see, you remember, you see, see me I, I, with Grime, I've checked out after a certain year. Same here. I checked out, bro. Same here. Because what, the thing is, it's like, watching, it's like watching Serie A when Rude Hollett, George Weir, um, Batastute and all that man and you're watching Syria and now it's not the same bro yeah bro man can't mm. watch it again no so, I agree with you I like, agree like, with you like the new Jane could watch Syria and now do you now. know when I checked out with Chip and that yeah, I was kidding him yeah Grimmin or 
Anyone that came after that, I don't know. No, novelists and Storm- novelists and Stormzy Storm- wave. Were cold. That, that I was, caught that wave. That wave was cold. But yeah. anything that came between Chip, yeah, Chip and that, Boxy, and then and then novelist and then man, I don't oh, know yeah, about them. Yeah, you're right. You're I don't right. know there's about there's them. Like, there's like Izzy Gibbs. I don't know about. I all don't that. know. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, and there's the thing, that's on the map. And it's there's no disrespect to them. Them doing it. It's just where I was in life as a person. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like what we were we were spoiled. Also, also, that's the problem. We were spoke with Graham. There's some parts of Graham here. It's like a subgenre. I don't know what it's called yet, but brother. <laughs> Imagine, I remember I, I tried to redo um, old school Graham in my area, and it's a Northwest. I thought, do you know what? Who would make sense to do it? Me, called Bear Old School MCs. It was a sick reunion, yeah? But then one DJ just DM me and said, oh, this looks like a sick link up. Can you book me? So I didn't know who he was. I thought, yeah. I'm not, this is not an, an event that I'm charging people as well. It's free. So if you want a DJ for free, no problem. Come through, brother. He started the set. I said, Big Man, come off the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the rhythms he was the drawing. Sound, like, the grab was too grabby. Bro, it sounded like dubs. I'm like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, the mic. No one wants yeah, the mic now. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. say, Big Man, you jump on, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And at some point of the night, yeah, he, he would jump back on and you'd hear the music start going a bit too bassy. I'm like, who's on the deck? Brother, please. It was too dubstepy. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. it was too. He like, lost his way in it. Yeah, like, there's some parts of Grime, yeah, bro, you think you're in a dubstep reef. Like yeah. hardcore trance. Yeah. What them, people are saying is grime. Them days are cold though, because it's like every every producer kind of brought in their own their sound. Own flavor. Their own flavor. So you had yeah. Wiley at the Esky beat. So it was like Avalanche and all them kind of songs. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Then you had Johnny Cash and them man. Johnny yeah. Cash was big. Brother, you know? Johnny Cash been, was hard. I had a lot of dumplings. People don't really talk about Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash yeah, yeah. Then, then, he had you had, then you had the post X lot. Yeah. You had, Dynamics in them, not musical mob. Bro, don't F, forget um, then you, had, you had Sticky, Rust Rust and, then, Rust and then you had Da Vinci, Essentials. Essentials were the though. hardest crew, you know. Hey, Da Vinci, yeah. The what, some the piece, no, been. not out of everyone, but <laughs> I said like they weren't rated like I thought they should have no, been da, rated. Da Vinci, Da Vinci, was a was big well producer. Da Vinci was a big <laughs> producer. <laughs> he was a big producer. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. He's he done a sick. lot. Of, he done a lot of work with Kane. Yeah, he done P's and Q's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Da Vinci, Da Vinci, KB, Doctor. Yeah, and I, I like, I like to be fair, like. Even, Doctor even, was cold, even you started to know all the producers. Like yeah, he used to beats. like he used to like using this. Slim used to use this piano thing. I used to use trumpets a lot in my beats. <laughs> yeah, like so you know what instruments you know what they it's, use. It's what program you got? What was in your it? biggest beat? Even wonder. I don't know, you know. Um, Which probably, one beat probably, that I know of? Probably, probably. Uh, Which one did you make your most money from? You must remember. <laughs> Do you, you have an ad lib on your thing in it? Um, at the tagline at Slim Ting Recordings. What are you talking? When, when your songs come out, was it something that like... Slim no, this was... just with Slim Ting's recordings. Yeah. What's the uh, biggest what, what was the one you made the most money from? I would say like We're Ready. Remember. We're Ready. That's the one that Mega Man What was it? That was his thing. We're Ready. No, that's not your thing. That's his beat. We're Ready. We're Ready. That's his beat. We're Ready. And then Wiley... And then Wiley... Wiley reads his beat. Yeah. That's his tune. Come on, man. What? Wiley busted. I know your tune, bro. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, what that's his tune. We're ready. We're ready. You're saying two things, bro. We are ready. We are ready. We're 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 ready. I remember whenever I used to listen to Roll Deep, I remember that. Listen, this is what happened. I told you. I told you. This is what happened. It's not coming up, man. We're ready. We're ready. We'll come up. Wiley made the remix. Yeah, yeah. How did Wiley make the remix? So we made the original. And um, Mega Man signed our tune. And then, man, just hit Wiley. Because obviously, Wiley was... He made Eskimo. Remember, yeah, everybody yeah, had... Boom, boom, boom. He had He had the Triton keyboard. That's what all that was made on. And man hit Wiley. So we needed a remix. Paid him some peas. Done that. And then I remember he made the remix. And he put that... Um... Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's his tune. Yeah. yeah. Is that the Wiley one or is that this his one? This is probably the Wiley. It's the East Connection. Wiley. Wiley's Wiley. Wiley. devil remix. remix yeah. Brother, this tune, when it come on, yeah... And you hear Flo that or, 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 or Jamaica be come on this tune. Oh, what? Yeah, man. Wiley smashed this remix. Was I think my favorite ever, song that I made. What's like, your favorite song? Pets, Pets inside. inside. Pets Inside. Play Pets Inside. What? Um, With D-Double. Hey, let the team drop. Let the yeah. team drop, man. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's, it's a long intro, though. It's long, it's long, it's long. Wiley smashed this. Brother, when it drops. Well, sure not age still. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> let's, talk about, let's talk about some young things now. Let's talk about some young things. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, 
We're going to get inside, going to cheat yeah, MC Slap Peps inside, inside. That's and on the outside That's looking at the inside. Yeah. What shall we get? I made nah, that. Nah, Matthew. Yeah, it's cold. Wiley went crazy on this. How, do, how we do? We how we do? How we do? How we yeah, yeah, Jamaica be crazy. Oh, you know, you know, who's, you know. Well, you hear that one of them tracks? You, you know who's <laughs> killing it right now? Flow Dan, big up Flow Dan. Yeah, he's got, got a tune with Lil Baby, man, bro. Yeah, yeah, so. Flow Dan's like, I'm so happy. That's a little baby, yeah. But who's the producer? Yeah, Lil Baby's on it. Skrillex, yeah, like, Skrillex, yeah. Skrillex. Yeah, he's got yeah, but, but, I, but I heard Flow Dan was killing it from dubstep because after Graham kind of went a bit. He went into dubstep. Yeah, but he's got this new wave. It's crazy. He's in the charts, and he's got another tune with um Chase and Status. Yeah, Badder Dan or something. Yeah, he's got. Oh, he's, he's yeah. cold. He's got another tune. No, it's not. It's not him. That, it's, um, yeah. He's going. So he's that like, big up flow, Dan man. I think he deserves. He's killing that, it though, man. Because he's been doing it a minute and. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's nice sometimes when a man's been diligent with something and then and not following other waves as well. Like yeah. that's the thing with everybody. Like. Something comes and everybody jumps on that and everybody's trying to do that. I thought, I thought that Flodan was underrated in Dude. that period. Flodan. Listen, there was, was a set. It was underrated, bro. I'm there was a you. set. I Flo heard. He's tuned. Slim, big, big Mike Man tune was big. big who, big what? Big, big Mike Man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. What transit van. He's got a tune with Skrillex. Yeah, yeah bro. It's massive. And like, he, baby, bro. You know what's streaming wise, yeah? Because yeah. his second song yeah, is know, with Skrillex. Bro. I know, Lamborghini. bro. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Bro, it's not. Skrillex is not a joke, you know? Skrillex yeah, yeah, yeah. is not a joke. That's cold. Killing it, bro. He deserves it as well, man. Big up Flo Dan. But yeah, them. 